started, the first thing I want to do is pull one card for the central theme of Capricorn's reading. What's the central theme of Capricorn's reading? So I have trust. You need to learn how to trust. What's presently affecting Capricorn? What's presently affecting Capricorn? What's presently affecting Capricorn? This is all like crazy. <laughs> it's not working right. What's presently affecting Capricorn? What's presently affecting Capricorn? What's presently affecting Capricorn? Okay. So it wants me to take multiple cards. The first thing we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse, and then we have the Two of Pentacles in the upright. Right, so it's we're going to read it from left to right. So we have the Two of Pentacles in the upright. So there's some balancing here. There's um, being adaptable, time management, prioritizing. This is your energy. This is Capricorn energy. So this is all about um, balancing. And then we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. So with the Nine of Cups in the reverse, we're actually talking about Pisces, and they're very greedy, um, dissatisfied, very materialistic. So you're balancing a Pisces, um, Pisces energy, somebody who's very intuitive, responsive. Um, you're balancing that energy of somebody who's very greedy and materialistic. So this could be you. Or it could be somebody that you know. So you're trying to balance out that energy presently. When the past is affecting Capricorn's present. 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 Okay, so we have the King of Cups in the reverse. Again, this is Pisces energy. What is it with you guys and Pisces? It's always a Pisces with you guys. So the King of Cups is emotionally manipulative. He's moody. He's volatile. Um, he could have weight problems. He brings in weight problems. So you could have weight problems or someone that you know has weight problems. He has a big belly. And whenever he's in the reverse, he's very just narcissistic. He's very narcissistic, very manipulative. He uses your emotions against you. Moody, cranky, um, an escapist, doesn't want to face reality. What else in the past? And it is Pisces energy. So we have Pisces energy twice here. What else in the past is affecting Capricorn's present? What else in the past is affecting Capricorn's present? What else in the past is affecting Capricorn's present? Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So this is karma. This is destiny. Uh, this is luck. It's a major life event. Why is the Will of Fortune here in the past? Why is the Will of Fortune here in the past? Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles in the upright. So this is your energy. Uh, this is Earth energy. So this could be a new job or a financial opportunity. So, there was, so in the past, you were really lucky. You were really lucky. And things manifested for you, and you got a new job, a new financial opportunity, and you were, but you were with somebody who was very emotionally manipulative, and that's causing you to have to balance presently, and you're balancing out their um, greed and materialism, or your greed and materialism. What is Capricorn's biggest fear? What is Capricorn's biggest fear? 
Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles. So you're afraid of someone who's very influential, somebody who's uh, very homely, motherly, down to earth. This is your energy. Why, why is the, that's your energy, that's Capricorn. So why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Capricorn's biggest fear? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Capricorn's biggest fear? All right, so we have the uh, Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands, or no, this is the Page. I'm sorry, this is the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands is still developing a sense of self. He's very enthusiastic. He's a free spirit. He's a free spirit, so you don't want to be tied down to somebody who's very motherly, who's very nurturing, who's down to earth. You don't want to be tied, you don't want to be in a committed relationship. You don't want to have to, have to mature. You want to still be a free spirit who's developing a sense of self. So that's why she's there and that's why you're afraid of it. You're afraid of commitment. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been a little sick. Um, so what does Capricorn truly wish for? What does Capricorn truly wish for? You truly wish for having multiple options. <laughs> uh, you, you want multiple options here with the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is also uh, Scorpio energy. So uh, you could be wishing for or lusting after a Scorpio. There's fantasy here, there's illusion, there's wishful thinking, there's choices, there's imagination. With Scorpio, that Scorpio energy, it brings something that's very magnetic, powerful, sexual, intense along with it. And that's what you're truly wishing for, something that's very like sexual and intense and you have lots of options. How does Capricorn view themselves? How does the Capricorn view themselves the 1st through the 15th of June? How does Capricorn view themselves the 1st through the 15th of June? How does Capricorn... Okay, so you view yourself as the Knight of Swords in the reverse, which sword, that's air energy and your earth energy, they don't get along, so there's conflict with how you view yourself and how you actually are. Um, it, th this is scattered thoughts, disregard for consequences, being rebellious, all about con conquests, um, very action-oriented, being a player. This is a player. Um, big opportunities for sex. Um, that's how you view yourself being unusual. You view yourself as someone who's very unusual. How do other people view Capricorn? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. How do other people view Capricorn? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. How are other people viewing Capricorn? How are other people viewing Capricorn? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. Give me one. All right. So they're viewing you as the Queen of Cups in the upright. So they're viewing you as somebody who's very emotionally secure, somebody who's calm, somebody who's compassionate. This is Cancer energy. So they're somebody who's um, very nurturing, somebody who's very sensitive, somebody who's very domestic. That's how people are viewing you. What's coming towards Capricorn June 1st through the 15th of 2018? What's coming towards Capricorn June 1st through the 15th of 2018? What's coming towards Capricorn June 1st through the 15th of 2018? What's coming towards Capricorn June 1st through the 15th of 2018? What's coming to Ooh. Well, the sun reverse the sun 
in the upright and the sun in the reverse are good uh, no matter where no matter where it goes it's good the sun uh, the sun is always good there's success here this is the card of Leo um, so there's success there's rewards there's pride it could be delayed though it's a major life event What's the outcome for Capricorn? 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 First, what's what success? <coughs> what, what success is Capricorn getting? Sexual conquests, lust, passion. And sexual conquest. So you get success and lust, passion, and sexual conquest. What's the outcome for uh, Capricorn? What's the outcome for Capricorn? The Queen of Swords in the reverse. So the Queen of Swords is overly emotional, bitchy, cold-hearted. It could be a Libra. Um, it's very uh, flirtatious, indecisive, gullible. Um, there's inequality here. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, specifically a Libra. It's in the reverse. So this person knows what they want, and they're not going to take anything but what they want. Why is the Queen of Swords in the outcome? Why is the Queen of Swords in the outcome? Why is the Queen of Swords in the outcome? Heartbreak. This person broke your heart. Or their heart broken. They're heartbroken. Okay, so they're heartbroken, and that's why they're being overly emotional and bitchy. So this person is coming towards you. Or it could be you. Why are they heartbroken? Why are they heartbroken? Because of emotional immaturity. This is the um, page of cups in the reverse. So he's very emotionally immature. Uh, he's still developing a sense of self, and he just has creative blocks. Extreme immaturity. Right. Any other advice for Capricorn? Any other advice for Capricorn? All right, it wants me to take these cards, too, over here. I wanted to end this, but, okay, so in the outcome, we have the three, the three of cups in the reverse, so there's a third party involved. Uh, somebody's having an affair. There's the six of wands, so there's a short-term victory, but it doesn't last long, but there is victory here in the short term. And then we have the three, or I'm sorry, we have uh, the Empress, which is a major life event, and she's in the reverse. So again, there's infidelity here. Yes, yeah, so if somebody's cheating on you, there's short-term victory with them, and you get that sexual conquest. You come in fast, you go out, but you're heading straight towards fantasy and illusion, and they have somebody else already. Um, there's a third-party situation here. And there's infidelity, ma major infidelity here. And that leads to heartbreak. And that leads to being overly emotional and bitchy. And that's why you get a tarot reading. If you don't like the future, you can change it because it's fluid. But that's what's coming towards you the 1st through the 15th of June 2018. Any other advice for Capricorn June 1st through the 15th? Any other advice? Capricorn June 1st. Okay. 
So we had trust and then we have true. True. What's this truth here for? Hope. So you need to trust in yourself and in the past. Look at the truth. Don't be blinded to it and have hope for the future. Just go into the future blindly and have hope for it and leave the past behind. Any other advice? Any other advice? There are new beginnings. There's something else out there for you that's perfect, that's beautiful. There's brand new beginnings out there for you. Just hope. You have hope. And now bring about new beginnings. And that's going to take you away from that bitchy, cold um, queen of swords in the reverse energy. Which is what you want. And it'll lead you to brand new beginnings. You just need to turn your back on that bitchy, cold um, Queen of Swords energy that, that is going to bring about third party situations, infidelity. And then it's telling me grace. You're graceful. You've got this. You can handle this. If anybody can handle it, it's you. Just look at the truth. Don't be blinded to the truth. You already know what the truth is. So Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed your June um, 1st through the 15th tarot reading. Please subscribe. I'll be having a new tarot reading out every 1st and 15th of the month. And hit the bell icon so you're notified as soon as it's it came out. Check out my new website that just launched. It's in the description box below. Please comment if this resonated or if you have any feedback that you'd like, like to give me. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, if you like this, please like, please share with all of your friends. I have a uh, whole, a whole um, uh, playlist of all the zodiacs. So if you share that, then your friends can pick out their particular zodiac. Um, so that would be cool. Thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful day, Capricorn.